this is incredible coming off the rig with the guys in front of me there got this trail snake of bikes ahead of me it looks absolutely fantastic this is what trail riding is definitely about high up on the national park what a day keep an eye on the track at the same time where do you go when you're young when you're restless when you're fun because you're desperate Oh, here they come for a chance for adventure. What's your poison? What's your pleasure? Okay, so that is the titles out of the way. Here we are down in Stokesley, White Eye, uh, just getting ready to go. This is the first ride that I have led, uh, which is a TRF ride. Um, so we're just about to head over towards the National Park. We are, how many bikes are we now? We're two, four, six, seven bikes up, I believe. So it's going to be a good day, mixed bag of weather. Um, yeah, so come along with us and let's see how we get on. And that is us very much underway now. Very interesting there, just uh, having a chat at uh, the meeting point. Um, and what's interesting is we are all on the larger, slightly rotund adventure bikes. Um, whereas uh, most TRF guys uh, tend to be uh, dirt bike orientated. Um, so that's uh, encouraging just to start that uh, or maintain a little bit of uh, momentum with the adventure bike riding so as I mentioned there we have got a little bit of a mixed bag of forecast today uh, lots of Sun but we've also got uh, the odd rain spell forecast as uh, we've picked an easterly airflow up this week the temperature has plummeted uh, we're riding in a sultry seven degrees at the moment and I'm fairly sure that will dip uh, when we click into this rain uh, that we're just heading towards the cloud and it's getting uh, a little bit darker as we go so uh, yes it's going to be a fun packed day I dare say we uh, are about an even mix of uh, on-road trails and uh, off-road trails obviously we need the road sections to uh, link and join those trails together but when you ride in an area as uh, spectacularly beautiful as the North Yorkshire Moors National Park it uh, matters not So this is our first little trail, just a little bit of a warm up, a bit of loose gravel and a few uh, few puddles, do like a puddle or two. And uh, yes we have uh, come through one of those forecast showers, temperatures dropped a little bit and uh, of course we're up on the tops now as well. But uh, as I say we are going to be in and out of these showers I'm fairly sure and looking around us it's given us an absolutely fantastic view hopefully there's not too much rain on the gopro lens let's have a quick check behind yes we're all still there that's quite a sight not quite Paris dakar esque but uh, yeah it is quite a sight so this looks a little bit deep yeah there's certainly been quite a lot of water coming down over these past few days so uh, yeah quite a lot of puddles to contend with really does feel nice to be out and about and certainly does feel nice to be out leading uh, the TRF and biking buddies on road or off road excursion trouble with the water sections really we know they're just puddles but uh, you can't really see underneath them or through them rather to see if there's any uh, underlying rocks etc was a bit mindful of that and there's a big rock there look so they don't want to be hitting that with the old front wheel now it would appear we've got our good friend the rain back and it looks like uh, this next shower might be uh, a little bit of a prolonged one temperatures down to five degrees now so yeah very definitely feeling chilly but not dampening the spirits and certainly not uh, cooling the enthusiasm either absolutely fantastic day so far only one bike drop and that was yours truly just trying to get some footage of the guys there completely caught myself off camber um, when we say a bike drop more like uh, just a gentle lay down so uh, let's uh, hope that's the first and the last of the day it may well not be so just coming through Leila home on our way towards uh, the beautiful sleepy little village of uh, Glazedale and we can see these weather patterns in front of us there nice and bright but sadly that's moving away what we're getting is that over there to the left uh, which is uh, definitely dark and definitely raining we can see the curtains of rain falling so let's uh, just circumnavigate where we are yes that's correct this is uh, the right track yeah just getting my bearings there 
so yeah what we're looking at in front of us that's exactly where we're going so uh, it doesn't look overly bright behind it either so uh, yes we may well be uh, in for a little bit of a wetting so the gate to Glazedale rig I'll get the gate let's get everybody through there we go and there's our group Looking good, and Stewie bringing up the rear there. And yours truly. Let's hope I don't drop the bike this time. And that sees us nicely in play for Glazedale Rig. And there's me saying I was the only one to drop the bike. Stewie just put us down in a little bit of slippy mud. So uh, we just pulled up here momentarily. Dom's just having a bit of a comfort break. And uh, yeah, here we are in the rain, high up on Glazedale Rig. Looking good. Okay, so I'm hoping that you can see uh, clearly enough through the GoPro lens. We are heading towards the sunshine and blue skies. Behind me, it is Anvil Black. So, uh, yes, we're heading southwest. Hopefully, we'll uh, see the end of this rain. I'm going to drop down into uh, Rosedale now. And then up the uh, very famous Rosedale Chimney Bank, also known as the Chain Breaker. What a beautiful view that we've got. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. And this sees us on the start of the uh, infamous Rosedale Chimney Bank. I believe it's uh, one of the steepest roads in mainland Britain, I believe. One of, not the, but one of. See, it's cattle grids, incredibly slippy. But the elevation that we gain in a relatively short space of time is quite spectacular. And then, of course, we've got these uh, unbelievably tight hairpins to negotiate. There's the guys winding up there behind me. And we're climbing up into clear skies and sunshine. Absolutely fantastic. And this sees the very picturesque drop down into a cold and mill. Utterly beautiful. You would never even know that this place was here. Must be absolutely gorgeous in the summer. It's pretty gorgeous in the winter to be fair. So we pick uh, the leafy trail up through the forest. I think it'll be quite slippy today. Obviously we've got all the uh, added leaf debris as well as the uh, rain and mulch generally getting churned in. So uh, just nice and steady through uh, through the houses, residential area. It's got to be very uh, respectful and that is very much uh, a TRF trait all the way through. Okay, so we should be on here. Yeah, so we're about halfway around our trip now. That was an interesting little climb up from uh, Calden Mill. You can see down there at the bottom there, we just come up through the trees. So quite a few bikes on the side dropped and laid. Yours truly was one of them. Uh, and Stewie as well there. So yeah, very, very slippy under rail. Lots of mud, lots of leaf debris. And uh, yeah, it's uh, all good fun. But you don't mind that kind of thing when you're not riding on your own. There's always assistance to uh, help you get the bike back up and mobile. So it is a case now of just uh, leaving sufficient space between the bikes so that uh, we can maintain that momentum. Very, very slippy though. I know Carl's doing well on the KTM. He is on raw tyres, would you believe it? Everybody else is on uh, the knobbly stuff. little bit more grip under the wheels there just up into second that's better that feels better and there we are Get our 
ourselves over here seems a better rut it's quite incredible what uh, punishment these uh, big heavy adventure bikes uh, do take we were just chatting there as a group collectively the bikes definitely outstrip uh, the skill sets of uh, certainly me that is for sure So let's just get uh, set and sorted. Oh, we were away a little bit, so it would may well have had an off, so just uh, wandering back down. I think I've just had the thumbs up from Carl there. So I think we're okay. I can certainly hear some bikes. You were down, okay. <laughs> Blimey, look at that, that is a lot of down. You got half the field done! <laughs> <laughs> All okay? So yeah, as I was saying there, that is the beauty of riding in groups. Um, whilst we don't want to be dropping the bikes, obviously, and damaging anything, touch wood, we haven't actually had that yet. Um, but uh, yes, it's uh, always worth riding in a group for helping pick those hefty bikes up. And what a beautiful day that we've got now. Lots and lots of sun, as you can see. And we have the infamous Rudland rig to tackle to close our ride out. And it does look like we're going to have a sunny, crossing with the sun behind us that's uh, exactly what we want on a winter's day with that low low sun rudland rig baby yeah here we are rudland rig so i'm going to pull the group up here and my intention is to uh, sit roughly in the middle of the pack as we go up rudland i don't need to uh, sort tc out etc abs get all that lot sorted done and dusted so let's get uh, the group pulled up here So that's Carlo it. And away we go, Rudland Rig baby. So we're getting a little bit of footage to the guys as well, which is always nice. Dolomite is super slippy. Not nice stuff that. Hope we don't get too much of that. It is very, very slippy. This is that horrible blue stuff that they've uh, regraded. Seems to have uh, buzzed down where the tie marks are, which is good. Are we all together still? Yes, I believe we are. Fantastic. What a way to travel the reggae. making some seriously good ground here don't like these sloppy bits yeah, these bits
So we're not a million miles off Blowworth Crossing now. Just working our way uh, across Blowworth up there, just uh, in that little section out of the sun. We've made some very good speed coming up the rig today. Look at all that sloppy mud. Keep well out of that, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. bike is moving so much that uh, you keep feeling your backside getting whacked by the rear pillion seat. It's quite incredible how much the bike actually moves. So the obligatory regroup I think, get our breath back, that was good. Whew. Are we all good? Yep, we're all good. We're all here. Oh man, get my breath back indeed. What a day. I think so. The bit that got me the last time, that bit right there to the left. That's the gnarly bit done. Laid to rest. Didn't bog the bike down today, which is a good, always a bonus. Thank you. All good. Let's get a bit of footage of Dom on said BM. This is incredible. Coming off the rig with the guys in front of me there. Got this trail snake of bikes ahead of me. It looks absolutely fantastic. This is what trail riding is definitely about. High up on the National Park. What a day. Keep an eye on the track at the same time. What a cracking bunch of lads that we've got out with us today. Look at that, and a rainbow to welcome us back in the Tees Valley. Utterly spectacular. Yeah, Stewie's still with us, he's back there. His confidence knocks a little bit.
Okay, so I'm going to back down and wait for Stu. Yep, here he is, all good. Stu is still with us, yeah, that's perfect. So the boys are a little bit of a head. I've just uh, stopped there, waited uh, just to make sure that Stu is okay. Always worth uh, checking on the guys. And uh, obviously they do the same reciprocating back to make sure that you're okay. Cheers, buddy. Okay then, folks, so here is a little bit of bonus footage for you just at the end of this video to round it off, just me, myself, and I. So it's been a fantastic day, as you've seen, varied terrain, uh, really nice to be riding out with uh, lots of adventure bikes, seven of us, that's about the maximum that you really want um, on a trail. So what I do want to do is just show you around the old Triumph. As you've seen in the video there, uh, it has been on its side a couple of times today, uh, but all in good fun. So let's switch over to uh, hand cam and let's take a look at this rather dirty Triumph Tiger 1200. So yeah, for me, this is very definitely how an adventure bike should finish every ride. Uh, yeah, all the mud and the grass uh, has now gone. So clearly, apart from editing this video, uh, the next part of my weekend is going to be cleaning the bike. Mud splats absolutely everywhere. But I must say guys, what a fantastic day that it's been. It was a 50-50 mix between biking buddies and uh, the TRF. And yeah, very, very definitely worth doing. And something that uh, I absolutely enjoy, which as you know, is the trail riding. And when you're riding in winter, what better thing to do than get yourself off road when the roads are uh, so messy and mucky and slippy, you're tiptoeing around. The fun is in the hills on those legal uh, byways and legal lanes. So to close the video down again, yeah, from me to you guys, as always, wherever you are in the world, thank you very much for your company. Please hit the subscribe button uh, and give the video a thumbs up. That does wonders for the YouTube algorithm. And of course, leave a comment. I love to hear from everybody uh, and I do my level best to reply to every comment. So from me out here and a very, very dirty triumph. Thank you very much, folks. We'll catch you for the next one. Bye now. Bye.